Greetings. Let's talk. When you've played a quarter century in the SCA, which I have, if there's one thing you've learned, it is the power, both for good and ill, of reputation. There are people within my kingdom, there are people within my region who have very bad reputations. Some of them are not, really not fairly earned. They're not deserved. Some of them are very well deserved. Um, but, you know, when that person's name is mentioned, the average number of thoughts that are come up about them are negative. And at the same time, there are an outstanding number of people in the in my region, in my kingdom, in my principality, in my kingdom, where if you mention their name, the overwhelming average of the first thoughts that come about them is, is outstandingly positive. Um, and those are well earned. Those are, you know, these are people who have moved, you know, effectively moved mountains, be that politically, martially, socially, within the ANS community, artistically. Um, they have, have done amazing things. Sometimes that reputation is earned because of a single act or a single uh, single bit of service, um, or perhaps a stint as an officer or a noble. Um, or sometimes it's not any one spectacular thing, but it is the overall average of years, years of service of or work or whatever. It is, it is a combined total of many, many much smaller efforts, but nonetheless positive. And the society, and I'm, I'm, there's a point to this, but please bear with me, the society offers us a relatively unique set of opportunities to really take our reputation, take, take, the, take the reins of our reputation and help steer it. Um, now, what do I mean by that? If I am at work mundanely, and I miss a deadline, I don't get an email out in time, I screw up, I, you know, something that does not improve my standing with my manager. Really, my only recourse is to simply have a perfect job for the next three or four or five months and, frankly, hope he notices. Now, I know everyone's different and everyone's job is different, but my point is, and I think we all know this, that within your professional environment outside of the society for the overwhelming majority of us um, if you screw up and you develop a negative reputation it is very challenging and can be very difficult to to write that ship um, our places of worship frankly are are not um, they're not much different it, and it's, it's, I'm not saying that necessarily is a bad thing, but that is an environment where our role is fairly well defined. And generally speaking, um, you know, opportunities to suddenly step up and make a deliberate effort to try and be a better person or, or improve your standing or, or be, you know, um, just be a generally good person and be noticed, because that is part of the metric of reputation is, is people noticing it. Um, those generally are limited. Those generally, I'm not saying they don't exist, but they're not plentiful. They're not available every day. And let's face it, for those of us at home, whether we have SCA family or whether we're the only ones who, within our family who play, the opportunity to do something that will, will change the opinion of someone who lives with you, of you, you know, someone to change their opinion, those can be very limited because your your fam your family or your intimates or your best friends are typically your toughest audience. And again, I'm not holding that up as any absolute. And I know there are exceptions to every rule, but I think we can all agree that those summaries of the world outside the society. Are, are a very good starting point to say that your reputation, people are used to measuring you on one metric. At work, they're measuring you on how well you do work. At home, they're measuring you on how well you are, how well you do 
home, whether that's doing laundry or keeping the radio down or whatever, you know. The SCA is different. And I don't, we don't talk about that enough because in the society, if you find out that your reputation is not what you want it to be, and it's not necessarily a question of bad versus good. This can be a question of directions. If everyone knows you as a fighter, but when you look at yourself, you realize you do more art than fighting. Maybe you want to be known more for your art. Maybe you want to adjust your reputation to be more to be more of an artist than you are seen as now. It's not that you're changing who you are. You're already this person. But maybe the PR portfolio needs a little adjusting. Um, maybe you maybe you're known as an officer and you would you'd like to change that you'd like to be known as a you know a less serious more carefree person who really doesn't you know isn't that thrilled with tackling policy questions no that's not hypothetical i've had that conversation with other people in that situation um or maybe you know let's be fair maybe you have had some less than stellar moments and people remember those moments probably a little better than they should in your opinion or a little longer than you'd like um maybe you said something that was ill-advised maybe you maybe you hung out with the wrong people sometimes our friends aren't the best choices and i'm not saying that judgmentally i'm saying that as someone that's had to look in the mirror and have that conversation with himself um whatever the case may be your reputation is something that you might want to change and the SCA has that opportunity the SCA has that that set of levers that you can take hold of where you can much more dynamically much more directly affect the public perception of you than you can I would submit in the mundane world now, I'm not saying that gives you total control. I'm not saying you can take the, the, the holy eraser to a bad deed or rewrite something to make it more spectacular than it was. No, we're, we're not talking about that. But we are talking about a system that has repeated, built-in social norms that allow you to better monitor, better affect, and frankly, more easily improve your reputation within the society than you do in a lot of other environments. Now, what do I mean by that? What are the, the actual practical examples here? Because we're a volunteer organization, there's almost always a call for active participation of some sort or another. Fighters for a demo, um, largesse donations to the royals or nobles. Um, I mean, an always current one here in Anstior are people to paint scrolls um, or people to make award insignia. Um, sometimes it's simply a matter of showing up an hour early to an event or a demo or a meeting and helping set up or contacting the autocrat a week or two before an event and saying I will stay late at the event to help tear down who do you need me to talk to um, these are opportunities that come up frankly they come up monthly for almost any group that I'm aware of I know there are some groups that are very remote so it's only a few meetings only a few events a year but for the majority of groups in Anstior and the central and continental United States that I'm aware of um, if you're willing to put the miles in you you can go to an event every weekend if you want almost every weekend at least I actually mapped it I actually mapped it out at one point um, if I were willing to drive up to 300 miles I could hit an event every weekend 
I could have been, I think it was 48 weekends a year, almost every weekend in a year. And again, I'm not saying that you need to drive an insane amount of time to, in an insane amount of distance to fix your reputation. Don't, don't take that away from this. My point is, is that every event that you see mentioned on your Facebook feed, every demo that you see mentioned in email or Discord, every time the society says, whether it's the local group or the regional group or the principality or the kingdom, whatever, every time they say, X is happening, we need people to Y, whatever Y is, that is an opportunity for you to take hold of one of those levers and guide the reputation of who you are. And that's an opportunity. It's an opportunity we don't talk about that much. And I, I mentioned earlier, we also have the opportunity to monitor our reputation. Now, what do I mean by that? The SCA has practiced formal mentorship and studentship almost, almost from its first year. We have, first of all, there are the, the very formal uh, studentships, the squireships, the uh, apprenticeships, the protégéships to the peers, uh, student to a master of defense, which I'm not entirely sure what they're calling that now, but there is, you know, the studentship does exist. Part of that relationship absolutely includes your mentor giving you feedback about not only how they see you, but how people tell them they see you. That is, that is part of the role of that mentorship, of that teachership, is to help you better understand and better maintain your image within the society. That's baked in. That's long-standing. And you don't have to student to appear. Not by a long shot. You can, you can take on a formal studentship. You can be a man-at-arms or just a generic student or any other, frankly, a number of other titles you could use that, that will not impinge upon traditions. Um, to any instructor of any rank who you feel is your better and can teach you something. Um, and again, part of that relationship can include that person being the outside perspective to tell you this is what I am seeing, this is what I am hearing, this is how I see the world seeing you. And that's not a mechanism we have in the mundane world. I mean, for the vast majority of us, I know there are some exceptions, but still, that's the overwhelming majority of the time. These do not have analogous relationships in our nine to five jobs or our Monday through Friday lives or our married lives or our romantic lives or our just regular boring lives. These are things that we know exist, but we don't think about them in terms of applicability. A lot of people say, well, I don't want to be a peer, so I don't need to be a student. No, that's not accurate at all. First of all, not all protégés want to be pelicans, not all apprentices want to be laurels. I think the squireship socially, that does have a very strong connotation of wanting to be a knight, but there's nothing written saying it has to be. You can be a squire simply to improve your fighting skills, fully understanding you will probably never be a knight. That I know people who have had that conversation with their knights. Um, but you do not have to be, you do not have to want to be a peer to be any of the traditional peer studentships. And could someone be a student of mine as a herald or as a woodworker? Or could I take a, a student for my work as an officer? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's something I absolutely could do. Now, how does this, how does this apply to you? Well, where, where is this going? Let's be honest, guys. Let's be absolutely honest. As much as, as much as all of us want to put our feet up and say, I don't care what people think about me. I think we all know the overwhelming majority of us care. And it eats at us. It bugs us sometimes. We sometimes don't know what people think about us. Or we hear one person had a low opinion 
and and it, it eats at us. And I think we all know, a lot of us, if we're being honest, are our own worst critics. And it, it's a powerless feeling to look in the mirror and go, people think I am, insert adjective, and that's not true. The society has a means where we can actually push back on that. We can actually take the reins of our own reputation and help, in part, steer it. But, but going looping back around before I go too much off on a tangent, reputation. It's something that we have control over in the society. It's something we have partial control over, unlike what we have in the mundane world. And I don't hear people talk about it. I don't hear people, people discuss it. I don't hear it being discussed as a metric and I think we should discuss it because it's important. That's part of the social contract we have is, is we come together to improve the society and improve ourselves. And part of improving ourselves is our ability to show the world who we know we really are. And yes, I could talk about this for several hours. It's, it's a hot button topic for me. But that's, that's my offering to you today. Um, I hope that it sparks conversation. I hope that it offers people opportunities and new thoughts. Um, but if nothing else, until next time, I'll see you at the next event. Goodbye, and God bless.